Right, hi Chris and welcome to your personal coaching session with Dynamite Dave. Chris, hope you're well. Um, we've analysed your throw and hopefully we've got some pointers here where we'll send you on in the right direction, up the right path to improving your accuracy and your consistency and getting that game of yours to the next level. Right, so what we'll do is we'll go over into section one and we'll have a look, project you down here, have a look and see where we can um, see what we think might be going wrong. Obviously it's subjective, but we'll see what we can we think is going wrong and see where we can put you right. So let's go over into section one right now right here we are over in section one uh, as you can see as you're setting yourself up there you're taking your time I like the way that you look down make sure that you're in the right position etc good parts about your stance to start off with you've got a nice vertical forearm you've got a nice level um, upper arm and then what we're, what we're going down to now is the thing your actual stance the way your feet are if you look at your feet you're not actually um, you're more told to the hockey than you are side on. What we're going to try and do is get you to turn that round so your foot, if you're imagining it, that's your, the bottom of your foot, you want this knuckle here, which is on your, like, your little finger, what you want is you want that side on to the hockey. And what that will do is, the way that you're set, setting yourself up is good but you're a bit too open, what you need to do is turn more side onto the board and come more over your actual shoulder rather than coming from in front of you. As I've said on many, many occasions, if you've got, if you're in front of your ear, you've got too much wibbly wobbly in it. Right, so moving on from that, um, we've noticed as well that you've got a very short backswing. And what you're doing is you're coming very much like Fred was doing in the last video, coming in front of your eye to throw the dart. Try and bring that. Just that tiny little bit further over, so instead of coming here, you come in here, just to the side of your eye. And, and projecting from there, because what that will do is, at the moment, you've got, like Fred had, a very stabby, very short um, throw, very short swing. If you go back on the on Fred's video, you'll see he's put a comment there saying that he's adopted what I've, I've said and his darts are flying much better. On from that, because you've got a small space to throw you're doing similar to what Fred was doing but what you're doing is more exaggerated you're pulling you're pulling the dart downwards as you're going to throw it so what you're doing is as you're drawing the dart back you're going like this with the dart and dropping it downwards and then you're having to flick it back up again so it's coming up in the air as it's coming out of your hand as you'll be able to see down here right so those are the main points of what we've found of um, what what could be improved and what will make a massive difference to the way that you play darts and how accurate and how consistent you can be. All right, so here we go over into section three. All right, Chris, here we are over in section three, and what we're going to do now is give you an idea of how you can um, improve the way that you throw, and hopefully, it'll make you a little bit more consistent, a little bit more accurate, and obviously, the better you get, the more you enjoy the game. So, first of all, number one is that stance so if you can get that stance so you can turn your toe in so it's slightly along the hockey I'll right, so what I'll do is I'll put a, a little clip of videos on of each way that I'm telling you to do of how to put it right so as well as me telling you like this there'll be little clips that come along with it and you'll be able to watch them as many times as you want and up for that will assist you in getting it right so what you want to do is the way that you stood at the moment is turn your toe slightly further in So this is you at the moment, 
turn your toe slightly further in, which will bring your body round. And then what you're doing is you're throwing over your shoulder. From that, the arm, what we want to be doing here is instead of coming like this, because as you can see, this is what naturally happens when you pull underneath your eye, is your wrist has to go like this, and then when you're pushing back out again, your wrist has to flick the dart up. When you have a look at the, the video down here, of the way that your darts travel, they're going up in the air and then dropping down into the board like this. And the reason they're doing that is because when you have to pull your dart back like this, instead of your wrist going over like this, tick tock, and that's how you're doing it, you're going like this and throwing, you're driving the dart up in the air and that's causing it to go up and drop back down again. Obviously causing a fair bit of inaccuracy because getting that to fly properly and the air pressure changing and what have you makes a massive difference. If you can get your arrows to go in a nice arc into the board, obviously that air pressure isn't changing so it's not moving your darts about. Right, so what you need to do, again, bit of a recap, is get the stance right. So turn your toe in, get yourself set up. Instead of coming from here, just move an inch this way. So bring you bring your arm up down. and bring it across here to this cheek. So your arm's level and it just goes like this and it doesn't interfere with your face whatsoever. It's still the same theory, fetch it up like this, make sure you've got this part of your arm horizontal, which you do, which is spot on, this vertical, but it needs to come here, like that, over your shoulder. Right, get back into left handed position now, and just show you. So, you, so your dart can come in a full swing. Instead of that little stabby swing, what you want is a full swing with none of, no, no wrist movement in it at all. Or fingers. And that, I think, will make a massive difference to the way that you play darts. Right, so that's your darts coaching video, uh, Chris. Hope you've enjoyed it. Don't forget, um, if you ever need me, all you've got to do is either email me or uh, message me on Facebook. I think we're friends on Facebook now. Just send us a message. I'm always here. Anytime you need to get hold of me. It's easy enough to do. And don't forget, Chris, hope this helps you, and so to the hockey.